Hi, my name is Felina with Let's Remodel. We're a design build firm specializing in kitchen and bathroom remodeling. Our showroom is located in Northeast Airport Way in 122nd here in Portland, Oregon, but we license bonded and insured with State of Washington and Oregon. Today I'm going to show you a little bit about the project that we're about to do. As you can see, this kitchen definitely needs some uh, remodeling, but it, not only the problem with old countertops or the old cabinets. As you can see, the first thing this kitchen is lacking is the space. So in order for us to make this kitchen bigger, we will take the soffit down and we will remove this whole wall. Unfortunately, it is a load-bearing wall, so we have to do additional engineering, we will have to get a building permit. It will allow us to make a kitchen at least two, three feet larger than what it is right now. Also, it will uh, require to change the entry door. This whole wall is gonna move out that way. The entry door will be relocated in here, and the window will become much smaller. But that will allow us to make the kitchen of a house that was built in 1965, bring it up to date, not only in products like cabinets and countertops, but also in size and space of it. So here's an example of cabinetry ingenuity that they've had probably 20 years ago. They've created this little tiny um, door that you barely can open and you definitely cannot really reach anything in here. Once we're done with this kitchen, uh, you will see what kind of lazy seasons are we gonna use to make sure that we uh, use the maximum of that space. And you will be able to compare it to this old not functioning cabinet. Also, it has really interesting drawers that do not allow you to use the dishwasher. They're also very tiny and very long, so it proves kind of hard to find something to fit in there. This is the interesting part. This is where you turn on your disposal and also your famous cutting board. Feels like nobody really uses anymore, but so many kitchens do have those. Also, the next time you complain you don't have enough pantry, check this out. This is the pantry. That's all that our client has, just a couple of shelves and nothing else. So once we're done remodeling this kitchen, she will have a fully functioning pantry with pull-out shelving that will allow her to store um, as much, if not more, as what usually people do with the walk-in pantry. Another problem with a lot of old cabinetry is how shallow the drawers are. As you can see, uh, this drawer maybe three inches depth. So basically, if you put one extra fork, you won't be able to close your drawer. We will definitely address this issue with our new cabinets. Also, because we're changing the entry door, we will have to change the concrete pathway or where it actually goes. It also will require us to deal with the siding and redo the flower bed. But the good thing about working with someone like us who specializes in complete kitchen and bathroom remodeling, if there are any other aspects of the job that are required to make your kitchen and bathroom remodeling happen, we always take care of all the details. Once we leave, you have a fully functioning kitchen or bathroom. Hi, this is Polina with Let's Remodel. We finally get a chance to look at this beautiful kitchen. It's fully remodeled, it's done. There was a housewarming party, so it's been given thumbs up by a client and by all her friends and relatives. So let's take a look at what's been done in this particular case. It's not a big kitchen now, but it was very, very tiny in the beginning, as you could see in the before video. But now it's a spacious big kitchen for this house and what we were able to achieve within that square footage of a kitchen. So first of all, I want to have you pay attention to all the lower cabinets. They actually all have functioning pullouts that do allow customer a full access to whatever is being stored there. We also have a functioning pullout under her cooktop and a half shelf. What it does, it allows you to keep all your pots and pans in the next to a cooktop where you actually cook instead of keeping it in a drawer further away. And of course, the queen of all the kitchens, the blind corners. So until recently, Lazy Susan was one of the only options that you could do. But these days, we have such a great organizers that utilize 100% of your space. Also, these days, you finally don't have to waste any floor space 
for your garbage bins. These days, everyone who remodels the kitchen gets a built-in garbage holder, so that way you can recycle and put your garbage all in one convenient space and it's fully hidden from your eyes. Another place where a lot of times people don't think of a pullout is under the sink. We're so used to climbing in our lower cabinets and trying to get things out that we forget that sink is also a place where we do store a lot of cleaners. So as long as the plumbing allows us, we can do a pullout that can either be metal or match the interior of a cabinet like in this case. The last but not least, pantry. If you remember in the before video how pantry was teeny tiny and our client couldn't fit half of the things she actually needs and uses in her kitchen, now take a look at this pantry. It's a built-in pantry with pull-out shelving. So here you go. Teeny tiny kitchen is turned in this beautiful, spacious kitchen that totally transforms the space. There's no wall. We created a beam so that we could take the wall down. So now it's just a gorgeous kitchen and a beautiful place to entertain and enjoy your daily life.